How's it going YouTubers? Cornwall here. Thank you for joining for another video today. And today we've got the wheel settings for the uh, for Dirt, 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 dirt Rally 4. Uh, for Dirt Rally 4. Um, and this is using the uh, Thrustmatic TX which I've used to test this with. Um, so I haven't got any other wheels to test it with. Um, I'm sure it, from previous experience with other games it'll work very well with the spider wheel as well. Uh, if anybody does try these settings out with other wheels such as Logitech, Fanatec, stuff like that, uh, just drop a comment below, let me know how it works for you. Um, obviously with all these settings um, they are down to your personal preference so don't forget you may have to tweak the sensitivity um, and things like that a little bit. So without further ado let's get straight into it. So in options and extras uh, you want to go into input. Once you're in input, um, just make sure that your Thrustmaster uh, wheel is selected um, and then we shall go from there. The calibration wizard, recommend you do that every now and again, especially if it's the first time you've plugged it in. It's just going to make sure all the pedals and um, different things are set up correctly. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go into device management. On this bit, if you have got your controller plugged in, which you normally will do from Xbox One, PS4 and things, uh, just press right so you get the, uh, the settings for your wheel. Um, and then the first bit we're gonna go into is vibration and feedback. Uh, so from here, obviously if you've got a steering wheel that hasn't got vibration and feedback, you don't really have to worry about this. And um, there is one bit that you will have to worry about at the bottom, which is the uh, steering center force. Um, but I don't know if that is just um, the, for the vibration things but I'll come to that in just a minute um, so let's get into the settings uh, so for the self-aligning uh, torque I've got 45 suspension I've got 50 tire slip 60 collision 25 soft lock 35 steering center force I've got that at 25 which is I think the default I've turned that right down uh, when I was testing the settings but I've actually got that turned off so what the steering center force actually does is forces the wheel to have a center point which is where it's obviously bang in the middle of either fully locked left or fully locked right um, and because the force feedback uh, on the Thrustmaster wheel automatically did that for me anyway with its own force feedback and technology that's built into it I was actually fighting with the wheel loads so when you're trying to drive straight the wheels rocking left and right left and right left and right and it, it was building up a sweat just to get it to go in a straight line um, so what I've done there is turn that off and it's solved a lot a lot of problems for me and um, so if that is one issue you're having with make sure you've turned that off okay back in the main menu and we're just going to go down to the advanced input settings okay so before we start this a little bit before we just go into the dead zones and whatnot there's not an awful lot to talk about just here but i have got my wheel set to 360 so on the thrustmaster tx wheel that is two flashes um by pressing mode and then the arrow key um with the spider wheel um i think it's is it setting two for your sensitivity um so basically it means that the wheels 360 degrees so um have a go with these settings on any other wheels but that's what i've got mine set to if you do have a, a preference for the for the angle uh, the degree of rotation uh, 360 is what this is set up with and it seems to work really well and it just makes it a little bit easier when you when you're throwing the car into those corners you've not got to really wang the wheel around and and uh, completely knock yourself out so anyway um let's get into it uh steaming ste stealing fuck i can't speak tonight steering linearity zero uh the dead zone is zero um the steering saturation is at 100 uh, throttle dead zone so this is when you press the pedal um, and at what point it's going to actually do anything so we've got that 100 uh, sorry zero um, for the dead zone 100 for the saturation uh, the brake dead zone is zero brake saturation is 100 clutch dead zone i don't have a clutch at the moment for my wheel so i've just left that or oh, i've set it anyway i think it was up a little bit uh, but it's on zero and 100 and um, depending on if you have got a clutch and if you're struggling to get the clutch down and you're crunching the gears just bang this up a little bit uh, which means the clutch won't have as much throw or a little bit more throw to it um, when you're actually pressing it but give that a go uh, soft lock i've got that turned off um, and that if you just press y on that it does actually tell you what bits do uh, and the soft lock uh, is enabling the soft lock will match the steering wheel um, the lock of the steering wheel um, to the vehicle and disabling it will basically match it to your wheel as opposed to the steering wheel um, and, and different bits um, so basically it'll match it to what the steering wheels doing with the settings as opposed to what it thinks it should be so again it's to stop you fighting with the car um, and that's it for the settings it's really really as basic as that 
um, there's nothing else really to show you um, I've changed a couple of my buttons around handbrakes on B um, on my controller which when I go into the settings I've actually mapped that to a, a bumper underneath um, and, and literally that is it the, the, the settings for this game um, are a lot more basic compared to Dirt which we had a couple of years ago um, or it might have been last year when that was actually came out on consoles um, but yeah that's the settings let me know what you think um, you might need to tweak them a little bit for yourself um, maybe uh, the linearity um, and the dead zone and different things but there's not an awful lot to tweak on it um, so let me know how you get on with these settings it's just to make sure that the it's mainly the feedback settings just to help you out with that one um, and if anybody has got any questions or anything don't forget to pop them below don't forget to throw it a like just to help the channel grow uh, and I shall see you all on the next video.